Good evening. It's Facebook Love. Today is Wednesday. It is the 22nd of April. Um, another day feeling quite busy and so not, um, not as stressed out about uh, this feeling of being stuck and not knowing what's next or when it might end etc. Um, but I find that I'm starting to make soft plans and try not to be as um, upset. So I'm just looking for for beauty in each day. Um, and today I fell back on a couple of my favorite writers, um, Maya Angelou and Joy Harjo. So um, here's a piece by Maya Angelou called On the Pulse of Morning. A rock, a river, a tree, hosts to species long since departed, marked the mastodon, the dinosaur who left dried tokens of their sojourn here on our planet floor. Any broad alarm of their hastening doom is lost in the gloom of dust and ages. But today, the rock cries out to us clearly, forcefully, come, you may stand upon my back and face your distant destiny, but seek no haven in my shadow I will give you no hiding place down here. You, created only a little lower than the angels, have crouched too long in the bruising darkness, have lain too long face down in ignorance, your mouths spilling words armed for slaughter. The rock cries out to us today, you may stand upon me, but do not hide your face. That's from a book she published in 1993 with the same title. And uh, here's one from our current poet laureate, Native American Joy Harjo. This piece is titled, Once the World Was Perfect. Before I read it, I like that word perfect. It doesn't mean without flaw, it means complete. You can look it up if you don't believe me. Anyway, Once the World Was Perfect by Joy Harjo. Once the world was perfect, and we were happy in that world. Then we took it for granted. Discontent began a small rumble in the earthly mind. Then doubt pushed through with its spiked head. And once doubt ruptured the web, all manner of demon thoughts jumped through. We destroyed the world we had been given for inspiration, for life. Each stone of jealousy, each stone of fear, greed, envy, and hatred put out the light. No one was without a stone in his or her hand. There we were right back where we had started. We were bumping into each other in the dark, and now we had no place to live since we didn't know how to live with each other. Then one of the stumbling ones took pity on another and shared a blanket. A spark of kindness made the light made an opening in the darkness. 
everyone work together to make a ladder. A wind clan person climbed out first into the next world, and then the other clans, the children of those clans, their children, and their children, all the way through time to now, into this morning light to you. Once the world was perfect. That is from her book of 2015 titled Conflict Resolution for Holy Beings. We keep messing it up, humans, all of us. Um, so let's think about sharing blankets and putting light in the world. This is Facebook Love. Have a great night. Bye.